So there are a few flaws with our combined gas laws, our basic gas laws, and that is that it assumes the amount of gas is constant. Okay? We know that that's not always the case. So what if we want to know the number of moles? We want to know about the amount of gas that we have. We know that one mole of gas is equal to 22.4 liters, but this is only at STP, standard temperature and pressure, which is 273 Kelvin, 101.3 kilopascals. So my ideal gas law comes in, and this is where I can predict the moles of the gas when I'm not at standard temperature and pressure. My equation for the ideal gas law is PV equals nRT, known lovingly as PIVNERT, and that is how you remember your ideal gas law. PIVNERT, PIVNERT, okay? Let's go through the variables. I have P, which is pressure. Pressure is in atmospheres, kilopascals, millimeters of mercury, or tor. I have V, which is volume. That can be measured in liters, um, normally liters. If you're given milliliters and centimeters cubed, you want to convert them to liters. Remember, there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter. N is your moles of gas. Remember, you can find moles of gas from grams using the molar mass. T is your temperature, must be told in Kelvin, thanks to the kinetic molecular theory. And R is going to be our ideal gas constant. Okay, this is one number, it's a given number, and we're going to explore what that number is. So we need that to balance out our equation. So what is R, our ideal gas law constant? Well, it's experimentally determined. This was determined by being able to plug in standard temperature pressure, standard volume at standard temperature and pressure, 22.4 liters, with one mole for P, V, T, and N. So at this time, if you would plug in to our equation here solving for R, we're going to plug in 22.4 for V, we're going to plug in 1 ATM, or you can plug in 101.3 kilopascals, or some of your group can plug in 760 millimeters of mercury, or 760 tor. So at this time, have each person in your group decide which person is going to pick which form of pressure. Okay, now that everybody has their own pressure, we're going to continue on, each person solving for their gas law constant. So like I said, each person is going to use 22.4 liters. You've picked your pressure. You're going to put one in for our moles of gas, and you're going to put in 273 Kelvin for your temperature. Take a moment to solve for R. Once you've solved, each person in your group is going to explain or tell the other members what they got and what their units are on R. That's very important. Okay, you should have been able to determine that if you have the units of atmospheres, your R value is 0 0.0821 atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. So ATM liters is on the top. Mole Kelvin is on the bottom, it's a fraction. If you use kilopascals, you should have got 8.31 kilopascal liters per mole Kelvin. And if you use millimeters of mercury or tor, you should have got 62.4 millimeters of mercury times liters divided by moles times Kelvin or tor liters per mole Kelvin. Notice that all three Units for pressure are different, um, and even four if you count in TOR. So when you're doing these problems, you need to choose wisely. So let's go through an example. Okay, example number one. We're going to calculate the volume that a 0 0.323 mole sample of gas will occupy at 265 Kelvin and a pressure of 0 0.900 atmospheres. First step is we're going to record our variables. We are starting with an N, a number of moles of 0 0.323 moles. We're starting with a temperature of 265 Kelvin. 
a pressure of 0 0.900 atmospheres. We are solving for volume, so volume is what we don't know. Next, we're going to choose an R value based on our pressure units. Our pressure units are atmospheres. So we need to choose to use 0 0.8 or 0 0.0821 atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. Then we'll write out our equation and rearrange for V. So my Pivner equation's here. I rearrange for V, so V is nRT divided by P. Step four, I'm going to plug and chug, remembering to use my units. So I plug in my value of my moles of 0 0.323 moles times my R value for R my 0.0821 atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin, times my value for temperature, 265 Kelvin, divided completely by 0 0.900 atmospheres. I then go ahead and I cancel out my units to determine what are my final units on volume and to double check myself. My moles cancels out with moles in my R value. My atmospheres cancels out with atmospheres in my R value. My temperature units of Kelvin cancel out with my temperature units in my R value, and I'm left with liters. So I'm able to find that my gas has a volume of 7.81 liters. Now go ahead and try your ideal gas law worksheet number four, problem number one. You're going to set it up the same way, following the same steps, and you should get an answer of 0 0.0208 moles of gas.